everyone. Today I have a Taylor Swift inspired makeup tutorial because she just recently came out with her music video, The Story of Us. And on her new CD, that's like my favorite song. I think it's so charming and cute. And in the video, her makeup looked flawless. Really, really uh, just light makeup. She pretty much just defined her eyes really nicely. Light pink lips and light pink cheeks. So I'm just going to be doing the video full face and full eyes. So let's go. Alright everyone, here we go. So first I'm going to take the khaki suede quad and this is from Revlon and I'm taking this first shimmery color. I'm just going to use this as my base. It'll just set the eyeshadow really nicely and just give it a little bit of shimmer but at the same time it's still sheer. Then I'm going to take a shader brush, take any one that you want and malt which looks kind of white but is in reality a very very light brown color. So put this all over your lid. Just make sure you have a matte light brown color and you'll be fine. It doesn't have to be this exact shade. Then once that's on, I'm going to take Naked Lunch by MAC, but you can use any tan shimmery color that you have. And I'm just going to pat this on twice uh, just to give it a little bit of shine. Then I'm using Naked, and this is again a matte brown, and I'm using it on a tapered brush. So basically the first color used was a very light matte brown, and the second one is a medium toned matte brown. And that's from the Naked palette. So what I'm doing right here is basically just finding my eye socket bone and putting the color directly on top of it. As you can see, I'm not going right all the way out to the outer corner. I'm just sticking towards the top. And then I'm just going to blend that out a bit. Then I'm going to be taking a more pointy crease brush and a buck, which is the darkest shade of matte brown that we're going to be using. And that's from the Naked palette as well. And what you're going to do is basically just draw a line on your eye socket bone. And this will really intensify the eyeshadow and just define your eye a bit because it'll look like your eye socket is a little bit deeper. So then you're just going to blend this out. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to be using a white eyeliner because that's what Taylor has in the video. So I'm gonna line my waterline with this and it'll just make you look more awake and it's just a brighter look. Then I'm gonna take a black eyeliner and tight line. So you might wanna look away for this part. So I'm just going to do it on the outer part of my eye and I'm sorry I'm turning at such a weird angle. <laughs> Then I'm going to curl my lashes and use the CoverGirl Lash Blast and this is the brown one because Taylor didn't have super dark makeup on so I figured I would do brown instead of black eye mascara. I don't know why I just said eye in front of the word mascara but use this on your top and bottom lashes and then you'll be finished the eye look. So here is what the eyes look like. It's very simple, but at the same time, super pretty and defined. For my face, I'm going to take MAC's Face and Body Foundation. And a drugstore alternative would be the Dream Smooth Mousse. Now, I think these both really leave my skin with a flawless finish, but I'm going to be using the sponge to ensure that flawless finish because the sponge really helps get the product moved around and everything. And I'm just going to put the foundation on my face with a brush and then after I'm going to blend it. So this foundation is super light and kind of sheer. It is the perfect foundation for flawless skin and it doesn't look like you're wearing any makeup whatsoever which is what Taylor had in the video. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Mousse Concealer and I know this is discontinued but it's my favorite concealer. So what I'm going to do is just put this under my eyes and cover any dark circles that I have. Then I'm taking the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. One drugstore alternative would be the Milani Face Powder. I think that works really well. And I'm just taking a paddle brush and just setting my foundation with this. And that will be pretty much the end of the face look except for blush. And I'm using a baby pink blush. This is Max Well Dressed. It's the perfect blush for this look because it just brightens up your cheeks just enough like Taylor had in the video. So I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and then bring it up just a little bit higher. Then I'm using the Milani Cotton Candy HD Lip Color. And this is just a really bright pink. Now I'm only going to put this on the bottom lips and then rub it in. And then for gloss over it, I'm going to be taking the Petting Pink Tinted Lip Conditioner. And this will add a nice sheer touch of pink to the lips. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Go out and rock it. It's definitely wearable and mimics tailors really nicely. All right, have a great day.